All right, so we're gonna work on some Xbox One 1540s. This is my last three that I haven't tested yet till now. And what I need, I need a few things actually right now. I need one of these, I need one of these. Three drives I gotta test because I need one. Actually, I need a motherboard for one order and a drive for another. So we'll finish these up today. And then I, what I need is a, oh, I need a, I need a hard drive, and I know this works, so we're getting there. And then I need something else. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, this gets me to where I need to be. All right. So I should give me my little smorgasbord of parts to do this for a little bit. So we'll start with 11540. I think a couple of these don't work. Maybe on and off power issues or something. But we'll find out. I have three of them. It's my last orders of the day, so we'll just spend the rest of the day playing around with these. I like my 1540s. <laughs> big fan. I should be fan all the way. But let's start there. Alright, so let's start here. So, I kind of got to get in here to do this, though. Where did I just put the drive I had in my hand? Is my mind? Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> Where'd it go? All right, so let's start here. So I know this this is good. Well, I'm not a fan of Western Digital at all. Any, actually, any. Mechanical hard drive, take it out, throw it away, and get yourself a solid state drive. Because you need one. Eventually, it's going to go no matter what, so you must just get rid of it now. You can go on YouTube and learn how to make a new Xbox One drive. It's a little complicated, but once you do it once, then you get it. It's pretty easy. I haven't done one in a while, so buy a solid state drive and get rid of these. Especially Western Digital, throw it out. I will sell them, though, but it worked once, but. All right, so let's do. So we knew all this works, so it should be a quick, simple test. Either working or not. Let's find out. All right, so we gotta get to this. We gotta get here. We gotta get this up. This is my sound speaker right here. I need some Wi-Fi action going on over here. I haven't been using a while, actually. But we're going to play around with them today. And that looks like that. That little clippy thing that I hate it with this guy. I came up with the idea these little Wi-Fi clip things are a pain. Not one of my... Because if you do it wrong, you can bend it, and then it won't go on at all. I don't want that to happen. There it goes. Alright, so that's that. So let's just do power first. Oh, maybe not. I'd like to just get one because I need one drive and I need one motherboard. Alright. So HDMI, which is here. I need power. Which is here. It's all the getting all the logistics together before we can get anywhere here. I use this as my on and off switch right there. I don't need any front panel, all that nonsense. Same thing, except for if you wanted to bind it, then you'd have to push them aside there. Alright. So, first one out of the chute, let's see what we get here. I'm seeing power, so we're already on halfway there. Let's see what we get. Okay, cool. So, best case scenario, 
I just got to, it'll always do that because I have a different hard drive. So that means P is purple. Is, I have to find my thumb drive because if you put a different drive, you always got to do the offline update. So now I have to find that. Sometimes you can reset it, but not normally. Oh, it's got to do offline update. Bummer. I, I want something, I don't know where it went to. Usually I have each one ready to go. No room, so here. I may have to make a new one. Looks like I don't know where my other one is. Yet. Before we do that, let's do this. Let's shut this down. We'll go just power for now. Let's check all ones, the three I have for power. So this one we know just needs offline update. I'll have to do that. I don't know where am I. So let's skip that for a minute. It's around here somewhere, but I don't know where. I'll have to make a new one in a minute. That's. I'm gonna wait then. So let's do this. So let's do this then. We're gonna just do this. Actually, do all of this. My life really, really easy. Let's do this. So we'll just test the three I have left for power and video. We've already said that yes, this one is good to go. I just think I just need the offline update on that one. So it's one good one. I had a whole bunch of these. These are my last ones. But I have a whole bunch of them already retested. I sold all the drives just about. So let's just do a quick little check on these three. I'm kind of get it all together right here. You have to have the drive on here. Because if you have no drive on there, you'll get no black screen. And if there's no drive at all, it auto shuts off after a few seconds, a few minutes. So you have to have a drive on there. So I'm trying to do this so I can just easily swap it, but let's see how I can do this pretty easy. Usually these are just a power issue. Either power on or they don't. But sometimes that a bad Wi Fi can cause a power issue. Sometimes. So I always want to pull that Wi Fi board off. You got no power or a weird power issue. Sometimes though, it could be the problem. Not always, but sometimes. Alright, so if I can just do this quickly like this, I mean, probably easy. And then we'll concentrate on just one. Again, we know that everything else is working. Let's see what we got here. Sounds like there's something in this one. Black screen, like I said, would be an issue. Oh, cool. So that's two. I'm two for two now. Just needing. You see a different color. This one's orange. I mean, this one's green. The last one's orange. Let's see if it's right, so I'm going to shut that one off. 
So overall, most, I think I have 12 of these. And of all though, ooh, this could be an issue. So there are some that I have that have a 63 boot problem and they don't shut off. And I think this is one of them. So I don't even need to work on it because I, if I can't, if it doesn't shut off, I know right there that's where it should shut off when you hear it go, Doo -doo. but it doesn't. So this one, I think I have three others that I never shut off. And I've determined that it's all they're all related to that, that issue. So this one is no oh, wait a nope. This one is no good. So this has got an issue. This goes with those 64. I'm gonna write that on it because I already know now. If it's not shutting off, I guarantee when I go to do the offline update on this. It'll, it'll it'll error out at 63 or 64. I believe the um, the S16A1 uh, errors out stops at 68 percent. It has something to do with some sort of a I don't know about this one, but on the on the S there's some sort of a fuse that's broken, blown over here. I think it's has something to do with this. So this should have a good drive in it. We're assuming that that, that don't work. But let's just wait a minute. So we're gonna put this one aside. Let's try the last one here. These are always really dusty. Really dusty. So we'll give this one a quick one. After a while, you do enough of these, you can, you can kind of understand it. certain issues that I already know without even having to go onto it. So I'll just put it aside. I'll take the drive off, test the drive. Because you assume if something's wrong with that, the, the disk drive should, should be still good. Not always, though. Could have multiple issues. I don't know. Usually, the odds are in your favor. And then we'll go on to oh, I've done an update. I know one of these doesn't power on. I think it's this one. Not positive yet. No other way to do it without getting in the car there. Now, usually these are on and they'll shut right off. I'm not seeing that. Let's see what we get here. The video action. I don't see. No signal. I think this is a. Oh, there it goes. Was that just loose? I don't know if I just hit that or not. Alright, so. We're 3 for 3 for video and power. However, I'm almost positive that other one will go 63. Stuck. Hmm. It's just turned off. Okay. So we'll stop there. We'll say I got 3 that work. To some degree. Now I gotta get a, make a new to make a new one of these uh, to, for an offline update. And then we'll come back and do some more of that fun stuff. And I'll put that. In.